Oh, that looks good so far. Uh, it's a little different than what I thought it would be, but okay. Wow, I did. I took it all the way up to the top. Maybe I shouldn't have taken it all the way to the top because there's a little bit of a fold on the on the word Regalwood Estates. There's, you know, the fold. I can see. If you look from the side, can you see? You can't see it. Can you see from this side? I can't see it. There's a little bit of a <coughs> a crease, like right here, along here. There's a crease. And when I open it, maybe if I turn it a little, yeah. Can you see it? The little crease. So I'm gonna have to maybe scoot it down a little but I like how the colors turned out around it I like how this turned out I'll, you know maybe if I just shrink that a little the side that turned out okay maybe I can lower this a little bit cam back games got my email address and everything the bottom has got wow that came out kind of dark I didn't think it'd be that dark but that's all right. Ah, and that's cool. I did it just right too because when you turn it from here to here, and you can read that, made in USA, game design as well as box design, created by Edward Nolan, owner. Yeah. So that turned out good. And the top of the box, I like the crispness of the but I can't read that, so that tells me something. But yeah, I'm gonna I can't read this middle line. So I don't know if maybe I should do away with that, because even if I when I shrink this, that's gonna get even smaller. But age 13 and up, that's good. Cause that's kinda, you know, what I want them to see in order to buy it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> And then a couple different cards there. I like the top of the box. Maybe I should just shift that up a little bit. What do you think? Because uh, it's a little off. And other than that, other than that, that looks good. Now when you open it, see that crease? There's that crease. That's maybe because of the way they got it cut. I don't know, but anyway, looks pretty good so far. Oh man, these turned out good. Wow. Okay. That's pretty hardcore. Pretty, you know what I mean? Yeah. And the edge up here, it, it, uh, it was just a little bit of black and another little bit of color over here. But other than that, man, that looks good. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Can't read that either on there. So maybe, maybe I should just do away with that whole line since I can't read it on here and I can't read it here. Oh wait, I wanna see the back, I forgot the back. Yeah, this needs to be bigger too, this whole, cause that says play Play something. I can't remember what it says. What I put there, but I like I like how the box kind of black. But this is lined up actually fairly nice. I just need to get rid of make this a lot bigger or something, huh? That's all right. You like that? All right. Can I get it? <clears throat> well, you can see the black on the sides of the cards over here. You know what I mean? See? Yeah. Can you see? Yeah. Here they're good. Here they're good. And here, here they're good too. Really? Eh, just that little bit at the top. So I'll have to adjust that a little bit. But I like how that, I really like how that looks. It's like colorful, huh? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Sarah? You like? Yeah? No? Just shake your head. Okay, here we go. First card. Um, wow. 
I need to do some adjusting there, huh? The bottom. Yeah. I think they're all going to be like that then. Oh. Um. I'm going to have to look and see. I actually thought that this was going to be black and that I got, I did away, I thought I did away with the orange border. Even on here, on this back side, I thought I did away with the orange border. So I'm going to have to look and see what I did. Because I, I think I originally wanted that to be black without the orange. You think it looked better black? All I like black. the orange. You like the orange? All right, so leave the orange here on yeah. this side. But on this side, leave it orange too, or? If, if you want, I mean, if if you say, I could just stretch that out. Probably just stretch it out. Stretch it out, leave it all orange? Okay. First edition turned out, you could read that. Can't see where it says, that actually says House of Blues, but you can't quite see where it says House of Blues. But this is the this is actually the person that took the photo over here, and then I got the copyright. The copyright came out good. Rental income forty two thousand. Default value one hundred twenty. Auction price sixty three. This is actually one of the higher end. This is uh, there's two types of cards. You got the Ace Boulevard cards, which is more the commercial end, and then you've got the um, other street name, I can't remember what it is, that are pretty much just houses, okay? And then this is number three. Okay, so they, they did all of them. Okay, and here's number two. This is uh, Ace Boulevard number two. Uh, the artist name on this one is right down here in the red. I couldn't, yeah, see, because this one here, I wanted to keep it on their fo photo. I didn't want to move it down to the black. But should I move it down to the black? I might have to. Move it down to the black and then stretch it out a little bit or better, bigger, so yeah. that it could be red. I'll have to move that one too. All right, so we'll do that. And then here's one Ace Boulevard. Okay. So. He's turned out pretty good. I'm just going to have to figure, stretch that out. Okay. Do you like that bear? Pretty cool, huh? Okay. You can get bear. Bear, bear doesn't mind. You like that, huh, bear? All right. <laughs> okay, so here's, so let's see how many we got of each. Hopefully they did them all together. So there's two of this, two of that, three of that one. Okay, here's a land card. Um, same thing, I just gotta work on the cropping and move the artist name. The other land card, that's pretty colorful, that's really nice. Another land card, okay, and here's the auction card, the sheriff. Yeah, that looks cool. But I can't really read, or can I? Let's see. The auction is now open. The person who played this card is the auctioneer and can place bids. Okay. That'll, that'll work. Should I make that white text? But everything else is black. Yeah, I'll do something with the background. With this background, the blue? Maybe. Okay. Another auction card. Four, three, another land card. Another land card. This will tell me too if I. Okay, so here's here's the residential card. Bearstein. I named it Bearstein after Bear. I named it after you, Bear. Bearstein. You like that? See, and a nice looking card. See? Oh yeah, you like that. That's a real nice card. <laughs> Named it after you, buddy. Okay. So, that, that's actually the card that's on the cover of the box.
And then here's two Berestein. Yeah. Okay. Or no, I'm sorry, that, that was three. Three Berestein. Here's two Berestein. Berestein, Berestein. One, three, another auction card, another auction card, Ace Boulevard, Ace, Ace, and, and, and. Okay, here's the default card. So, Basically, when we go to play, you put this. You could put this either on a land by itself, or a land might have a house on it. And then when you put this on, then the default value. You know, this is twelve thousand. This is four thousand, sixteen thousand. So whoever owns this would have to pay to sixteen thousand in order to collect rent. You know what I mean? Sometimes people won't have enough money to pay the default, so then if they don't have enough money you pay if these are in default play the auction card and everything goes to to auction so let's see land default default is that kind of dark or is that all right yeah it's all right okay and here's number four Bearstein. That's another part of the residential. I only have the three commercial, but I have four of the residential. So a development would be, you know, if you had one, two, three, or two and three, or one and two, or three and four, but if, if they're split like one and three, that's not a development because they're not connected by numbers, you know what I mean? They're part of a, a development, something in, in the development of a development, but it's not complete until you can put number two in there, then the whole group becomes a development, okay? Need a, I needed a lot of land because, as you see, there's a lot of buildings, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I got the rule book. My rule book. That turned out okay. And then open it up. You got the action. Uh, each player starts with. Okay, I'm going to have to maybe clean this up a little bit too. Auctions. And then the credits. This is uh, a list of all the images, the locations on the internet. Basically, I took uh, the 2.0 copyrights that I could find off of Flickr. You know? Okay. I put the Game Crafters logo on there. <laughs> and uh, my little thing. Alright. I want to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of those. So that's what, twenty-five? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's ten. One, two, three, four, five. That's fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 
21, right? One, two, three, four. Coming. Oh, wait. Four, three. Four and one. Okay. So it does randomize. Um, what I told the. What I told. The. Computer generator, or whatever that you want to call it, the game generator. When I put my cards in, I told it that I wanted, you know, there's so many cards that are going to be like houses, commercials, but it kind of does it, I guess, a little bit like Magic does, where you have rare cards, common cards, and um, uncommon cards. So I'm going to have to look and see because it only gave me one number four on the residential. And I don't know, I know I made one of them to be to be the best out of the four, but I, I can't remember offhand which one it is. Default value, auction price, no. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna have to look this over and and see. Uh, I might have to make some changes there too. You wanna play? All right. Okay. Let's play. Sarah, come on, we're gonna play.